because she's a good neighbor. She helps out a lot around Saskabilities. So she'll drive mail from place to place. She drops off laundry. She does our grocery shopping. But also Mary just has a wonderful, like welcoming, generous spirit. She walks into a room and says hello to everyone. She greets everyone. She throws up her hands and says hello and gives you a hug or a high five or whatever. And she just wants to like be a part of the community. And she's come a really long way in that as well. She's got a lot of friends in the community. She likes to get to know new people. She never passes someone by without saying hello. And that's really important to her, is to keep her connections, and she doesn't forget a face. When Mary first moved in to the Christian Horizons home, it was very clear that she had a passion for food. She wanted to love and serve people through food. And so the Meals on Wheels program has just been something that's brought new life and purpose to her every day. Meals on Wheels is like a blend of the things that Mary loves. She likes to drive around the city and then she likes to share food. Like if she makes food, she wants a dish for everyone. She just wants everyone to eat out of the food and be happy. So Mary's commitment to Meals on Wheels is once a week on Thursdays. Uh, and she loves being able to go out into the neighborhood and provide meals to uh, people in the community. I would probably just go, hello, Miss on Wheels, have a nice day. And Mary would be like, oh no, how's your children? How's the kids? How's work? You know, I'm thinking, it's fine. You know, she gets involved when, when we do that. She gets really, you know, she likes it. It's good. Thank you, Ian. Have a good day. Do you want to tell me what's in there? Greens and tomato and onion. I think that Mary, it's important for her to share cooking with others because it's a huge part of who she is. When we first heard about Mary before we even met her, we knew that cooking was a huge part of what she does. That's how she grew up, cooking. So we made sure that it was a part of her program and it's continued to be a part of her program. She's always very hospitable. So I think it's important to her that she shares her meals because it's what she's grown up with, I think. She doesn't mind sharing everything and not going home with anything. Right? She, she doesn't even like to go home with anything. She wants to share it out. So people feel loved and connected, maybe through the food that she shares. She likes to just spread her love around, spread her food, make sure everyone's fed. It's kind of like a motherly instinct type of thing, it seems. Today I have my money. I'm getting my steak. You are? Yes, it's steak. That's exciting. That, that steak to bang, I'm going to get banged, going to shopping. Shopping? Mm -hmm. You have a big day, eh? Hey? She takes one day at a time, step by step. She's not very overly anxious. If you say, oh, we're going to do this tomorrow, she's patient to wait for tomorrow. Get it done and be excited. And you know if she's excited about it or not. She's very expressive. That's the thing with Mary. You don't second guess. She's going to let you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's just lovely, lovely to have around. We just, we love her.